Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be going through all things ensuite design and planning. I mentioned this in a previous video, but actually the ensuite is a room that we thought would be done probably last and we have had to prioritize it because the shower in our bathroom is about to kick it. So it's one of the rooms that I had done little to no planning and I had to make decisions really, really quickly on this room because we just wanted to get it started ASAP. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through my design inspiration, all of that jazz, take you through loads of the stuff that I've actually bought for the ensuite as well because it's all here ready to go. Um, yeah, take you through everything that was in my head. But before we jump into that, I wanna to talk to you about today's video sponsor, which is actually Readly. In case you haven't heard of Readly before, they are a digital service offering unlimited reading of over 5,000 magazines for one monthly fee of $9.99. Whatever you're interested in, I'm sure Readly has something to suit you, whether you're interested in arts and crafts, sports, fashion, there's even something for animal lovers, as well as newspapers like The Independent, Evening Standard and The Times. Readly makes it easy and smooth to bring these great titles with you everywhere. You can save articles, recipes and magazines for offline reading as well. Family sharing means that you can add up to five different devices to one account. So whether you want to stay more up to date, explore a new hobby or simply keep the kids entertained, Readly can make your screen time far more meaningful. So let's take a look at my favourite titles. There will be no shock here that most of my magazines that I have favorited are home and interior design related, but I've also been more interested in health and fitness as this is something I really want to improve on this year. For me, I love that I have access to local magazines as well as international magazines, which is all included in my monthly subscription. Readly is super easy to use in either portrait or landscape mode. And if you're a visual person like me, one feature that I love is that you can actually zoom in and out of images and get an amazing high-res version. So Readly are offering two months free. You can cancel at any time. I'm gonna leave the link down in the description box in case you wanna go check them out. Like I said, I've been using them for quite a long time and honestly, I really, really recommend it. It's totally worth it, but I will leave all of the details down in the description box anyway. Um, so, on sweet stuff. You guys know me, I made a bit of a list because I find videos like this really difficult to film because I wanna talk about so many different things and my head's all over the place. So if I'm looking at my phone a lot, it's because I've made myself notes. Um, so, en suite, where do I even start? First of all, let me show you the starting point with what we were working with. So the en suite isn't ginormous, but it's not teeny, teeny, tiny. It's about 1.6 meters by 2.7. As you walk in the door, originally to the right, there was a shower unit there, as well as an electric radiator, which we had um, removed pretty soon after we moved in. Straight in front of you as you walk in, they had these kind of built-in units with a sink and a built-in mirror as well. And then to the right of that, a toilet, more cabinets. There's a really small window, which actually surprisingly lets in quite a lot of light and just a standard radiator underneath the window as well. So it was relatively neutral in there to begin with. There was like a whitish gray tile on the floor and then a kind of creamy tile on the walls, um, but it wasn't in very good condition. A lot of the tiling was a bit dodgy. The shower didn't work. The toilet was a little bit dodgy as well. Basically everything was dodgy. So we knew that it was always gonna be a case of completely ripping it all out and starting from scratch. In terms of the layout though, we actually really, really like the layout. We're a little bit limited because it's kind of like a long skinny room as to what we can do. And obviously it comes off of our bedroom like we couldn't really move the door too much. So we really like that kind of layout as it was. One thing that I absolutely love is that you, the first thing you see when you walk in is actually like the sink and the mirror. Um, one of my pet peeves, and I know this can't always be avoided, but seeing the toilet as soon as you walk like walk in so we do really really like the layout we're intending on keeping that layout 
maybe like squishing things over a little bit but things will pretty much be going back in the same location right let's talk about overall kind of look and vibe and then i'll show you what i actually went with in the end so i had a really really rough idea before we moved in what i wanted to go with but it's probably the only room that I hadn't ordered any samples. I hadn't overthought it really. Like the main bathroom, I probably have like, I will had a way better idea of the direction I wanted to go with than the ensuite. But I did have like a loose idea. So general kind of vibe was basically keeping it really, really light, really neutral with just black accents. Like I said, it's quite a small room. Um, so I knew I just wanted to keep it really, really simplistic and just get a really nice kind of textured tile and use that as more of like a focal point than anything else. You guys know that my style is very kind of simplistic and modern anyway. So I feel like you're not gonna be that shocked by some of the stuff that I chose. I've gotten one of the tiles out. So let me show you the tile that we've gone for. Okay, so all the tiles are already here. They're in our bedroom and they're really, really annoying because they're very much in the way. Um, but in terms of tiles, we, when I looked around Porcelanosa, I think that's a really good place to go for like inspiration because they have really nice kind of texture tiles, a lot of stuff in there, like their showroom's really, really nice. But Prosecco budget, champagne taste, you know what I mean? So. I always knew that I wanted to choose something that looked really high quality, but was definitely more of a kind of budget option. So we actually got our tiles from Wix and we went for these tiles, which are definitely not gonna show up on camera very well, but they are an off-white tile and I don't know if you'll be able to see or not, but they are basically like an off-white kind of concrete effect. They're a matte floor and wall tile and we are gonna be using these on all of the walls and the floor as well, just to get this really kind of seamless, really nice kind of spenny look on a little bit more of a budget. So I think these were like about 12, 12 to 14 pounds a square meter. So in terms of like tiles, they're actually really, really cheap. They feel really good quality though. Oh, I've just got dust on me. Um, they are a 600 by 300 size. So we're looking at um, having them horizontal and we are just going to be stacking them not brick effect like a linear kind of stack does that make sense um but yeah really impressed with the quality of these free delivery also if you have a trade account at wix you get an extra 10 percent off as well so definitely like a really they had so many nice tiles in there by the way you obviously don't have to be trade shop at wix but yeah they had a lot of really nice tiles in there so i definitely recommend going checking them out if you are on the lookout for some kind of like affordable tiles and stuff but those are the general kind of vibe we're going for just nice light bright neutral but they have that bit of like a texture concrete vibe to them as well also personal preference i'm not really a gloss person so I found that when I was looking, it was difficult to find that really nice textured kind of tile that wasn't glossy. And these are gonna be really good for like non-slip as well because yeah, they have that kind of like nice matte finish. Okay, right, my card was just full. Um, so at some point I will be filming a full on like sit down, talk about how much everything costs. I wanna be as transparent as possible, but obviously we have not had everything done yet with the ensuite in particular. So once ensuite's done, I will do a video, which is like taking guys through exactly how much we spent on everything, labor, all of that. But obviously, baby steps. Let's get the ensuite done first. Okay, so let's talk about the shower now. So like I said, when you walk in, the shower was to the right and it will still be to the right. Um, and they had this kind of rectangle, but with like a curve on it. So it was like two sliding doors like that to get in. It was a bit bizarre. It wasn't really our cup of tea. We've ripped it out, it no longer exists. But that kind of area when you walk into the right, like I said, the width of the ensuite is 1.6 meters. And that's actually a really good size to do what I've been dreaming of for quite some time now, is a really nice kind of walk-in shower. So we oohed and ahred. 
between a proper like wet room style walk-in shower where you don't have a shower tray you just tile the floor or whether we go for like a sexy shower tray um we oohed and aahed for quite some time we had um the guy who's doing our bathroom we had him in had a chat with him and because of like where the door is and stuff and i was worried about kind of like water coming out we have decided to go for a shower tray um and that's just personal preference there was an option for us to have like the um glass screen have like a flap on it and i just didn't want that so we decided to stick with a shower tray but we've got a super sexy one to go in and i think i actually got it from screw fix i will leave everything that i've got linked down below in case you guys are curious um the shower tray we've got isn't a super cheap one but it's not super expensive um but the reason i got it is it's a really really thin profile one and it actually um doesn't have like a drain in the very middle i'm gonna put a photo on because obviously i just couldn't be bothered to bring it in and film it um it's still in the box but it's got like a slant and it actually kind of drains on the edge the photo will make way more sense than the way i'm describing it we decided to go for a white one nice and simple we were toying with the idea of like a slate one or a black one and i was too scared to do that i kind of just thought in a bathroom like the white is just really nice clean looking yeah it just looks sanitary to me i don't know why and that's such a bizarre thing to say but i thought it just looks really nice and clean and i love that this kind of like really um kind of hidden drainage part as well and yeah the thin profile so it's not like you have to step up into it that much it's like that so that is the option that we have gone for for the shower tray um and then the screen that we've gone for one thing that we were adamant that we didn't want is a sliding door one we had a sliding door on our last shower and it is an absolute pain to like clean it so we knew that we wanted something really simple because aesthetics wise that's what we wanted anyway but it's a lot easier to clean as well so we have just gone for literally a plain glass panel which has like a um support bar across the top which is black again i will drop in photos of what i'm talking about so you guys can get a good idea of it something else really i this isn't that exciting but i'm so excited because i've never ever had this we are going to be building in a shower niche and yeah I, again that's something that's been on like my dream board for a while turns out it's really really easy and simple to do <laughs> i thought it was really complicated but it's not um so i think the wall's like 1.6 meters and we kind of have studs set in a little bit so we're going to manage to fit in quite a big long one um between the studs on the wall i think they're gonna have to cut a stud i don't really know how i'm gonna try and like update you guys as much as possible without being creepy and filming the guys when they're doing it but yeah we're gonna get a nice one in quite a tall one to fit my big old shampoo bottles and yeah i just like i again i just want to keep it really simple tie it in the same tile keep it really nice and simple one thing i haven't actually spoken about is grout um grout for the tiles because i haven't fully decided on the exact color but i think i want like an off-white because the tiles aren't white so i don't want a white grout because personally i want the grout to blend in so i need to kind of find like a slightly off-white grout that will kind of blend in with the tile that's my kind of thought process we'll see when we get around to it um but anyway yeah shower niche will be very exciting and then the actual shower head itself i have bought the box in we need to actually put it together so that's why i haven't got it here to show you because it doesn't really look that interesting but we've just gone for a kind of normal i don't know what you call it like a normal wall mounted over the head one with like a little handheld one as well it's in matte black if you've had an over the head style shower you know what i mean before they are life changing they're so so nice like yeah at the moment we are showering in one of those like weird little handheld ones and it's just it's not ideal and it's a pain to wash your hair it doesn't even really go high enough for us at the moment so we are looking forward to getting that installed um nice simple black nothing really kind of 
mind-blowing to talk about and it was pretty affordable i like basically shopped around as much as possible with all of this stuff okay so not so interesting um toilet has to go in a bathroom though right so like i said the toilet is to the left as you walk in we got our toy we actually bought two because they were in the sale i think b&q had like a big 10 percent off online orders so we actually got two so that the toilet in the ensuite in the bathroom would be exactly the same um we've gone for a close couple toilet with a soft close seat life-changing you have to have a soft close um and i actually think it's rimless as well i've never had a rimless toilet but i think it's meant to be more hygienic so you know when you look in the toilet that there's like the rim where the water comes out of i think the water just comes out the back i'm gonna have to report back on this one guys this is new for me as well but it's just like a really white simple modern looking toilet but the one exciting thing that i have got which is not that exciting is i've actually ordered a separate push button for the toilet because as you guys know already all of the like finishing touches are going to be black and i couldn't find a toilet with a black flush on it they seem to just not exist but you can buy like a universal flush separately I think they were like eight pounds or something so i've bought one of those i've already asked my plumber about it he said it shouldn't be an issue but he's going to double check tomorrow i think um but i'm just going to like switch the flush out so that we can have like a black flush that matches everything else so there's that next to the toilet we're going to be having a black towel radiator at the moment we should have like a normal one um so we've just got i think it's like 120 centimeters high by like 40 or something so it's not huge but um we had tower radiators in our last house we absolutely loved them um and they're definitely worth the investment and they just look really good in the bathroom anyway i think i got them from i can't remember i will link them i can't i got them ages ago so i can't remember but they were actually super affordable and i have just bought the valves for them separately so they are also matte black so they should tie in really nicely and then last but not least this is the part of the bathroom that's actually had the most thought believe it or not and i've got bits to show you um is the whole vanity area so in all of our houses previously we've just had like pedestal sinks and i have always wanted uh, and i know it's just not a big ask but i've always wanted like a vanity unit with a sink built in and i am so so excited to actually get that but the issue is i had something and i don't know where i got this from I, like a lot of my inspo photos had basically like a black or like a nearly black style vanity i knew i wanted to go dark in there um and as you guys will probably know by now our kitchen is going to be black basically so i thought it would be like a nice kind of tie into that as well um and i just couldn't find many things that i thought were that nice like that looked really high end there was a lot of gloss stuff like i said like gloss is just not really my vibe and for some reason i got stuck in my head i want like a black wood effect like like a wood grain but black and even if i budget wasn't an issue i just couldn't find what i wanted so we're gonna do a bit of a hack and i'm actually i found this on pinterest i'm actually using a ikea malm set of drawers in the kind of black wood effect and we are gonna mount a sink on top of that i have already told our plumber about it and said you know we're gonna have to do some jewelry pokery with this but i think he's on board he didn't say no so we shall see how it goes but um actually the bedroom in our master bedroom is that black malm bed so it's going to match our bed as well obviously i know we're not going to live here forever and our furniture is going to be coming with us but i just absolutely love the style of it it was like the most the i mean i did want a floating vanity but the one thing about the ensuite is because of where everything is and where the door opens and all of that we don't have a lot of room for storage i personally didn't want eye level storage i wanted like low storage so the fact that we're going to have three drawers um granted they will have to be some of the drawer will have to be sacrificed for the pipe work i'm aware of that but i thought this was the best way to get the most storage as possible 
and it was only £70. I couldn't find one on Facebook Marketplace, I definitely would have if there was, but we bought it brand new, I need to build it. It was £70, even like the Ikea tiny vanity units are like at least 100 quid. So we'll see how that goes. Like I said, I've seen some inspo photos, so I think it should work out pretty well. And then, okay, oh, sink. So this is what's gonna sit on top of our Malm chest of drawers. And when I was on my vanity search, like I did see some, but they all had that kind of like built in sink. I had seen this sink pretty early on in my search and I couldn't get it out of my head. I wanted a countertop sink. And this is the one that we went for. It's this really, really nice, really simple sleek, but it's like an oval shape. This is actually a pretty big sink. I think it's like 50 centimeters, like 50 by 35. But I, I just absolutely fell in love with this. As soon as I saw this, I knew that I had to have like a countertop one because I just couldn't let this go. Um, so that was, again, I think it's I think it's called Bath Store, but I will link it down below. I think it was only like 40 or 50 quid. So it wasn't even like a big, you know, splashy item. But yeah, I may even get the same sink for our main bathroom as well because I just... I just think it looks so, so nice. And it's a little bit different, but no, not too like wacky or out there. And then I just got one of these um, universal matte black push button things to go in it as well. I got that from the same place. And then because we are obviously having a countertop sink, that meant that we had to go for a taller tap. So the tap is gonna sit behind the sink, like in the middle. I know some people when they have round sinks they can like put the tap to the side we definitely wanted it to be in the middle because just personal preference um i feel like i'm a little bit too i like things like a certain way i think i'm too <laughs> like that to have it off to the side so we decided we want it in the middle it'll fit perfectly behind but we've gone for this one again matte black sleek I've had so many comments previously about the matte black stuff. We actually live in a really soft water area. Um, we previously lived in Bristol, which is a very hard water area. And yes, I've heard a lot of stuff like if you have a black tap in a hard water area, it's gonna be an absolute nightmare. Um, I'm hoping it won't be too bad, but I don't care because I, I just want a black tap. So <laughs> save your hard water questions because I ain't listening. Um, so we went for this one, really, really simple again. And we went for a mixer tap, personal preference again. We've gone for mixer taps like with us, our kitchen sink and everything because I just prefer them. I just find them much nicer to use and having like separate taps. Um, and it's just so much easier to get like a nice kind of temperature with it, but it is a bit taller. So obviously I don't think I can hold these up at the same time. Oh, am I strong enough? Okay. Sink. Tap. So it's the perfect kind of height. <laughs> oh, this is actually really heavy. Um, yes, yeah, so it's the perfect kind of height to go over the top. Obviously, when you look at it like this, you just think, whoa, that looks absolutely ridiculous. But again, it was a pretty affordable option as well. And I just love like the kind of like sleekness, like, you know, this bit, it's just like, beautifully curved and simple absolutely love it and it's going to tie in perfectly with everything else and then the final touch this is one of the reasons i didn't want eye level storage is because i one of the weird things i had stuck in my head was a big round mirror you can get big round mirrors with storage behind um but they're really expensive we already have one of these mirrors. They are from Ikea. I think it's the Lindbin. I'll link it down below. But the really big um, round ones. So our Mount Chester drawers is 800 mil wide. The mirror is the same kind of size. So it's a really nice big round mirror. Really thin metal black frame. Um, I'm a massive fan of these mirrors because they are super affordable. And they just look really high end when they're really, really cheap. So... That is gonna be the final touch. And I know at the moment it's gonna sound very, very sterile. It's very white, black, but we will be adding in 
nice kind of finishing touches we're going to add some like plants and things in there and just kind of give it a little bit more life but i just wanted to go with something just really sleek minimal little bit texture just yeah i feel like that is like my style pretty much on the head there so um yeah that is everything um i don't think i've forgotten anything but i'll have to keep you up to date with how the whole kind of like vanity thing goes that's the only thing that i'm like slightly worried about at this point um but i'm sure it'll be fine obviously i will be completely honest with you guys about the whole journey the process and i will also be doing a separate costing video once it's all done and dusted um don't forget to go and check out readly as well and get your free trial honestly like i've used it for quite a long time i absolutely love it there are so many great titles on there that are really really helpful and quite literally like whatever you're interested in i'm sure they will have something to suit you because the variety is insane so again the link will be down in the description for you guys to go check out as the links to everything else will all be down there but i hope you guys have enjoyed this video watch this space if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to subscribe follow along with the renovation journey and don't forget to give this video a like because it really supports my channel and i will see you guys in the next one Bye.